It's been a very, very long time, but I'm finally back to Super Mario Galaxy. What's up, everybody? My name is Tentacle, and last time, we completed all of the regular stars in Melty Molten Galaxy. Now we got a prankster comet to deal with. I've been avoiding talking about this one because I think this is the hardest Daredevil Comet in the game. You have to go through the entirety of the sinking lava spire without taking damage. This is even harder than Bouldergeist! I definitely think Bouldergeist's Daredevil run is the hardest Daredevil Comet in the main story, but this beats that just slightly. For a brief moment, I even forgot that I was supposed to go over here. That's how long it's been. I seriously think it's been a month and a half, maybe even more, since the last time I recorded this game. I'm just glad to finally be done with my backlog. Eh, I wasn't thinking there. And yeah, I guess that makes me bring up a good point that I haven't brought up in a while. If you die at any point during a Prankster Comet level, you have to do the whole thing again. And that doesn't help considering the Sinking Lava Spire is probably one of the longest levels in this galaxy. But yeah, going back to what I was saying earlier, it feels nice to be done with this backlog that I've been having. The last few episodes of this Let's Play have been there for a while. Don't even bother going for the star bits in the volcano, it just wastes time. This might as well be a combination of both a speedrun and a daredevil run. And there goes Mario's pupilless reflection again. Okay, I really had to concentrate there, so... Sorry if I went quiet for too long. Oh, wrong way, Mario. There we go. Fixed it. Alright, get the star bits, get the star bits. And great, now I have to do this again. Now let's see. I guess the best thing to do would be to start from the back. Oh no. No you don't. Wait for the thing. I'll just collect this one. Pretty sure I forgot about this yellow star chip last time I was here. Okay, good. That's useful. Nope. Eh, let that one live for now. Jeez, sorry if I'm seeming like a big ball of nerves today, guys. I just, I've had a pretty long day and I wanted to record this video to de-stress. And that was way too close. Honestly, that was probably the hardest part right there. Or, the part leading up to this planet, I should say. If you know what you're doing, this can be the easiest part of the run.
it doesn't help that the music resets because this is a scripted event. That thing drops, and we keep moving. Dodge the boulders, just like that. Good job, Mario. Ground pound that thing, go over here. Right. I wanna do my usual YouTube commentary style, but I can't when I'm running for my life. Don't grab the one-up over there, by the way. It's not worth it, once again. Get up there, Mario. Thank you. I was about to get very mad. Okay. Now let's grab the star and get out of here. Now that I can finally calm down, how's everybody doing today? At the time of this recording, today is... What is today? Oh yeah, Sunday, November 5th, 2023. And there was actually a Pokemon Go Community Day event earlier today. Probably my favorite one that we've had so far because it introduced the Paldean form of Wooper, plus its evolution, Claude Sire. And as you all know, Claude Sire is one of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 9. I'm so happy it's in the game now. Anyway, I'm out here now because I got a little bit more explaining to do. In between episodes, I was grinding in the Slingpod galaxy for Starbits to feed this Hungry Luma. And in doing so, I unlocked the Snowcap Galaxy. I don't know why this is the Hungry Luma Galaxy of the Garden, because for all intents and purposes, I think the Snowcap Galaxy is the easiest one in the game. The easiest Hungry Luma Galaxy, I should say. But enough of that malarkey, it's time for... Star Bunnies in the Snow. Ugh. Had to make sure I didn't choke on my spit there. This level is honestly really simple. You just gotta chase after the three Star Bunnies that are over there. Kinda like that one mission from Gusty Garden Galaxy. Let's play Chase! Can you catch us all before the time runs out, boyoing? Oh, never mind! It's like the Gateway Galaxy! Okay, that helps. But still, I think this level is really easy. If you know what you're doing. You can use your pointer to uncover the snow as well. You don't have to walk around it. Now the problem is, I'm going off of basic memory for this galaxy, so I don't even know where the star bunnies are. This fire flower will help. Well, there's one of them. It would help if you long jump, Mario. There we go, one down. How annoying, he says. Really. All right, then, we go back to the Koopa Shell, because I remember at least this much. One of the Star Bunnies is... in this treasure chest over here. Open it from the right end. He hops in there. And it's just that easy. We got one minute to find the last one. 
Now, I swear there was a patch of grass around here. Kind of like the Gateway Galaxy, but I might be wrong. There you are! Now, admittedly, I did kind of fumble around here because I was going off of base memory. But if you remember Treasure Chest, Snowman, and then Hole in the Ground, you'll be fine. I was trying to figure out how to word that. If you know where they are, this is the easiest Hungry Luma galaxy in the game. It's even easier than Sweet Sweet Galaxy, and that's saying a lot. Anyway... I know this may sound crazy, but I'm actually gonna end this video off here. I know, I know, it's a bit of a short one. But here's the thing. What's coming up next is something that I want to save a whole video for. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy, the hunt shall begin for... The Purple Comet. This is why the post-game of Super Mario Galaxy is so massive. Purple Prankster Comets will appear in every single galaxy that has more than one star after you beat the game. And I consider them to be either some of the easiest levels in the game or some of the hardest. But I'm going to save that for next time because I don't want to ramble on about them right at the very end of this episode. So until then, this is Tentacles signing out. Take care, everybody.